My name's Simon Bishop. I've been a chef for over 28 years and cooking outside is a passion of mine. I'm here to show you some of my finest recipes using the best ingredients and cooked with a minimal fuss. The dish that we're going to be cooking today is uh, authentic Spanish paella. Now we're going to make it using chorizo, paella rice and chicken. Right, we're going to start with a preheated pan and just add some good quality oil. You can use hemp oil as we are here or good quality olive oil, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil. Next we're going to add 200 grams of chopped chicken leg, boneless. And we're just going to seal this chicken breast until it's lightly coloured on both sides. The chicken's now been in there two to three minutes. You can see it's nicely sealed on both sides. Light bit of colour. Now we're going to add the onions. And give them a good mix through the oil. Right, these onions have been cooking for a couple of minutes now. You can see they're starting to go translucent. We're just going to add next into the pan the chorizo. And we just want to heat that through mixing it through the pan so the oil is going to be released that's going to add some of the flavour from that into the paella as it cooks. Next to go into the pan is some garlic. I use the ready puree garlic in these tubes. It's easy to keep. You don't have to mince it while you're there. We're just going to add that straight in. Next to go into the pan for two fresh bay leaves and some fresh saffron. And what we're going to do with the saffron, we're just going to break it up gently in our fingers, sprinkle it over. And you don't need too much of this, a little does go a long way. Now all of that's been cooking for a couple of minutes, releasing the flavours. The next to go in is the paella rice. We're just covering the rice with some water and that's going to take about 10-12 minutes to cook through. The rice is now cooked, it's been about 15 minutes uh, going through, we're nearly at the very end stage. What we're going to do next is add one of the last ingredients, some peas. Going to mix those through, just let the heat from the rice warm those up. Everything's cooked through, now all that's left to do is dish it up. And there it is cooked, Spanish paella, simply made, but tastes delicious.